What's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we are going to jump back over to Marvel Comics and continue our coverage over the Ultimate Marvel Universe. And we are going to continue to cover the last Ultimate Marvel event Ultimate Marvel Catalyst. And we're going to pick up with Ultimate Marvel or Ultimate Comics Ultimate Catalyst tie in book, where basically we pick up again with Nick Fury and his Howling Commandos fighting against AIM, MODOK, and also the Ultimate Galactus Swarm. So, if you do like today's comic book video, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. But I do hope you enjoy today's video. So the opening of this book reminds us that in the last video of the Ultimate Catalyst, Hulk was taken over by the Ultimate Galactus Swarm. We also have to remember that even though this book is titled Ultimate Catalyst Ultimates, it is not focusing on the actual Ultimates team. They knew that it would be a hard sell if they wanted fans to buy this book if it was titled Ultimate Howling Commandos. Either way, remember that on the Howling Commandos, Abigail Brand got badly injured and Giant Woman is trying to get her somewhere safe. At the same time, another member of the team is Hercules. He decided to take it on himself to stop the Hulk who has been infected, which honestly is a fair fight in this universe, I feel like, since Hulk is not really as strong as his main Marvel Universe counterpart, so we see them fight against each other. This leads us into checking up on Falcon, who is currently hiding in, listening to this new religion group that popped up out of nowhere when Galactus arrived on Earth. The leader of this new group is actually the leader of AIM, George Tartleton, I know I just butchered his name, who is also known as Modark. We just started talking about him in the last video that covers Ultimate Catalyst Ultimates. He actually first appeared in the Ultimate Vision miniseries that we did not cover, but it is him basically coming out with this new religion telling Falcon that his goal is to take the city Reed Richards built back in Jonathan Hickman days that led to a city that was 1000 years of time ahead with technology and humans. Either way, he lost and his city was left behind. But now you have Modok turn the city into some kind of destruction city robot so that he and his new religion will be the herald of Galactus and lead this world into their destruction. So this leads us into getting back to focusing on the Howling Commandos who are fighting against the ultimate Galactus Swarm in hoping to find a way to defeat these things. Except as the battle goes on, well more and more members of the team are starting to get taken over by the ultimate Galactus Swarm. Remember, in the last book, Abigail Brand got infected. There is still a Hulk out there too. Except the next thing you know, Abomination, sorry, Frank Castle, also gets taken over as well. The numbers are dropping really fast. It gets to the point now, you only have Hercules who is fighting against Hulk and Abomination. Some other members who are not infected are Dum Dum Dugan, Nick Fury, and Danny Ketch. Falcon is still with Modok up in the sky. So to close on the first part of this video, we see Nick Fury thinking that once his team has teleported away from the swarm to give them some time to regroup with the last few members of the team, that is when he and the last few members of this team see the destruction robot that MODOK and that new religion have built to help Galactus get rid of the Earth, letting them know that they are running into problems left and right. To MODOK, he tells Falcon that he already has most of the members of the team. Once he gets the demigod, of course, Hercules, that basically the rest of the team won't stand a chance against to resist being affected by the ultimate Galactus Swarm. 
we then get to the section where we learn a tad bit more about the origin of Danny Catch. Really, it is just him stating that his mama just thought of him as some crazy drunk who was going to end up as a failure and he was a big time sinner which to him, she was half right. But that is when you have Nick Fury out of nowhere basically stating that he is tired of looking like an amateur. So he is going to go and take on Modoc and end all of this. We see that Hercules is still alive and they all get together to go up and take care of Modoc. Which then we focus on Modoc and Falcon up in the flying robot that is trying to be the herald of Galactus where you have Modoc talking in a way where he thinks that he's going to win this and there is no one that can stop him. Except of course, you have Sam Wilson reveal that since he was one of the few members that helped take down Reed Richards, that he knows how the technology works, which then gives him the ability to hack into the system and to tell Nick Fury where they were. And that is how Nick Fury knew that he needed to go up into the robot to stop all of this. You have Modoc, of course, freak out, but of course, that is when Nick Fury and the last few members of the Howling Commandos appear to take down Modoc. With Falcon being able to get free from the control of Modoc, that gives him time to be able to find a way to take down Modoc, AIM, and their new religion. While doing that, you have Hercules taking on Modoc. Now, this is the moment you have Nick Fury get a call from Monica Chang, his ex wife who is the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the moment, that New Jersey is gone and New York is next. But you have Falcon tell everyone around him that if they remove MODOK from the system of this Herald of Galactus robot that he had built, someone has to replace MODOK. This is why we had that mini origin section of Danny Ketch, because he is going to be taking over and replacing MODOK. Now with MODOK being replaced by Danny Ketch, well that gives Danny the chance to free the people in the area who were infected by the ultimate Galactus Swarm just a small amount of people in the area, still freeing some of the heroes who were involved, so Giant Woman and Hulk as well. With that happening, it seems that everything is okay. So it seems that maybe the Howling Commandos just has saved the day from AIM and MODOK. Except the Ultimates were hoping to pull Danny Catch out before the AIM and the Ultimates Galactus technology took over him. Except to make sure that AIM and MODOK can't come back from this, he continues to become one with the technology and his goal is to kill it off. So while you have the ultimate Howling Commandos to teleport away from the flying robot ship to let Danny Ketch blow up the ship, which to them, it seems that Danny Ketch died as a hero, letting himself become one with the technology and then killing any chance he had to come back and live on with his life. Except he is not dead because we see that some time has passed by, which to me it seems this small section takes place after the whole Ultimate Marvel Catalyst event. The reason why I say that is because Danny Ketch wakes up to Agent Coulson to tell him that whoever Agent Coulson works for, they have spent so much money and time bringing him back to life. Danny Ketch has become completely one with the ultimate Galactus Swarm Nanites. They are going to call him Machine Man from now on, and we will see him again in Ultimate FF. And this is where we are going to end today's video. So please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video.